what is up you guys so today i did want to have a conversation about these uh diamond by the yard rings that i unboxed earlier this year um and then just give you my feedback and my experience on these rings i do have notes today because i can kind of be all over the place and i did want to give you an update on my ana luisa chain rings as well so let's get started well, point number one that i wanted to make is these rings have been everything that i imagined they would be they are everyday rings and they never come off of my fingers so with my expectation of them to be like an everyday 24 7 ring they have met and exceeded that expectation and unlike other rings that i feel like i need to take off when i get home these are rings that really do stay on my finger and in my opinion that alone makes the price of these rings completely worth it and they're actually not even that expensive point number two is on occasion they do feel tight and i know that it usually has to do with something in my diet maybe my salt intake or how hot the day is and my fingers swell and so on days like that i will end up with just have a mark right there what i usually do when it's starting to really hurt is i will turn it um this way so that the stone is on the inside and i give my skin on this side a rest um, these rings are really small, so that's the other reason why I don't like to take them off. Um, you can lose these if you're taking them off a lot, so that is something else to consider. But that is how I wear it when I see that I may be getting kind of marked. There's one other review that I've been able to find on these rings, and someone talked about uh, the silver tarnishing and what i wanted to say with regards to tiffany and silver jewelry i actually have had a lot of experience with silver jewelry from tiffany and company when worn these pieces do not tarnish i think there's something about the salt in your skin that keeps it from tarnishing and the only time that i had silver tarnish while wearing it was when i was in a pool so and i was not in the pool for very long i was there for just longer than usual and it did tarnish however if it does tarnish you guys all you do is take a little bit of toothpaste and clean it cleans right out and you can also take it to tiffany to get it polished but toothpaste works perfectly well and i do not have a problem with my silver tiffany jewelry tarnishing when worn if i just leave it out in the elements it does tarnish but not on my skin so i did want to touch on that a little bit these over here are bezel set so i'm not at all concerned that the diamonds might fall off from daily wear they're set really really well and i have uh, no concerns with regards to that now i did want to touch on a couple of cons on these these rings do flip over and that is kind of annoying and i feel that if they would have made them reversible um, meaning that they had a stone on either side even if they cost more that would make them less annoying of course they're not going to flip right now and that's what it looks like when it flips so it is something that i have to you know be aware of i'm gonna say this one because if it's a little tighter on this finger flips a little bit less but it does flip nonetheless so i did mention that these rings flip and that is very annoying when i filmed that i really had not realized or I had kind of mentioned that the rose gold doesn't flip as much. And then I really kept an eye out for my two rings. Um, the silver ring fits me a little large on the finger that I 
been wearing it, which is not this middle finger. It was on my opposite hand. And because it fits me a little looser, that's the reason why it flips so much. And so make sure that you purchase the right size. It might feel a little bit snug, but you won't have the flipping situation. So do keep that in mind. It does not flip as much when the ring fits you properly. Now, these actually feel very secure on my finger. I wanna say secure and not tight. They can feel tight if my fingers are swollen, but on a regular basis, they feel secure, not tight. And that is where I'm going to talk about the Ana Luisa chain rings. As you can see, I actually don't have any Ana Luisa ring and it isn't because I took them off because I no longer like them. Every single one of those rings flew off of my hand at a certain point and I've lost every single one of them. Um, yeah, and the Shizo ring was actually the first one that flew off of my finger and I could not locate it anywhere, you guys. I looked so many times for that ring because I genuinely really loved it and I've considered repurchasing it, but I feel that the sizing is off on Ana Luisa um, with the chain rings and I, I don't want to take the chance on purchasing the chain rings from Ana Luisa because, you know, of that experience that I had with them. Um, the Amazon ring, that actually never happened, but for whatever reason, every single one of the Ana Luisa chain rings flew off of my hand. Now, I don't feel, it does not feel the same. These do not feel the same as, as the Ana Luisa rings felt on my finger. And so I don't know how many times, you know, I was talking with my hands and I felt the Ana Luisa rings start to slide and I would have to like catch it. So it was a feeling that I had constantly with those rings that they were going to like fly off of my finger and eventually they every single one of them did and I don't recommend them it has been about a year since I got them and I want to say the last um Ana Luisa ring that flew off probably happened about a month ago or two months ago um yeah so I I was really bummed out because I really do love chain rings so I am actively looking for more chain rings because I do really love the style. I kind of regret buying the sizes that I did. I feel that this style ring would be so cute as a pinky ring. I just feel like they would be perfect as pinky rings because they're so small. Um, I, I love them how I have them, but I just feel like, oh my God, they would look so cute on a pinky and there's a part of me that wishes I would have done that. So, and if you have wanted these um, or have looked into them, definitely consider getting a small size so that you can wear them on your pinky. I think that would look so cute. Next point that I wanted to make about these rings is I have always been the bigger is better person. I never understood why people would buy the small versions of things. I always thought that it had to do with the cost factor of things that people would buy the, the smaller version of things in my absurd mind. I now recognize that sometimes the smaller daintier pieces are going to get so much more wear. Because these are dainty, something that happens is you genuinely forget that you have them on. I do want I to dispel this idea that you know, there's like lazy jewelry or lazy people who don't want to take off their jewelry. I wouldn't call this lazy jewelry. What I would call it is efficient jewelry. And what I mean by that is previously, the pieces that I have purchased were always pieces that I would have to take off and not I would have to take them off. I couldn't wait to take them off. It wasn't something that I could cook and live my life in. And so I was always very aware that I had certain jewelry on and so I couldn't wait to take it off this is not jewelry that i buy because it's going to stay on it's just something that you forget is on and in a way it becomes like second skin to you or like i've said it before like a jewelry tattoo and they really 
end up getting the most cost per wear not because you're lazy to take it off but because it's just becomes second nature to yourself and every piece that i have i recognize now that that was what was missing for me previously with jewelry that it was just you know either really too bold and obviously i'm not going to sleep with a big giant ring even though i love big giant rings and if jewelry is sitting in the box then the party stays in the box and these pieces are pieces that live on me all of the time and i don't have to fuss with them i'm always ready when i walk out of the house they're not uncomfortable for me to like sleep in or for me to live my life in and i really value that now so much more where it doesn't feel like I'm putting on like a show you know th these are just easy pieces that i live in every day and these rings have been that and like i said i do not get me wrong i would still love to add my justin clue again i love that ring but it that was a moment that i would have right every time that i would run out of the house if i had time and i didn't forget i would go grab it and put it on i made such a a point to try to never forget but there were times that I did forget to put it on and every single time that I got home I couldn't wait to take it off and I know that that is something that is going to happen it is not something that is going to live on my hands 24 hours a day seven days a week it is more like um, a going out piece which is fine but again what I value the most what I feel I get the most out of my money are pieces like this that I just forget about they're on and the only time that I remember that they're on let's say I'm waiting somewhere and I'm like annoyed like I'm sitting in the car waiting for my daughter to you know get into the car and my hands are on the steering wheel and I see the ring or I see my pieces and then they just brighten my day and the waiting just seems a little easier so that is the kind of jewelry that i really have an appreciation for and if you have an appreciation for that kind of jewelry then pieces like this is something that you should definitely consider resale value let's touch on that a little bit i have concluded where resale value is concerned that it is not that it is not important but it's not like the number one item there it's i don't even think it's number three for me the most important thing is not the resale value for me the most important thing is how much wear am i going to get out of a certain piece that is for me the primary concern because i don't have events to go to if anything like a special occasion now is maybe going out to dinner um, I go to the park, I go to the grocery store. I am just a normal person who lives a very normal life. Sometimes we have an idea of a aspirational lifestyle. And I used to purchase things with an aspirational lifestyle in mind. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, you guys, but for everyday life, even if I was going to work, these would work. They're super easy. And I've always loved jewelry that is kind of like a signature to an individual. And I feel like these have become that in a very, very big way for me. They're not like overtly large they're not like covered in diamonds i wish that they would make more versions of chain rings i think they're very they're a very valuable um style for i think like stay at home moms they're just something that makes that infuses luxury into the mundane is what i would say like again if i'm cleaning they're on if i'm cleaning my daughter's face or because she got dirty or giving her a bath or getting her dressed or brushing my teeth they're on me and they just bring a little bit of luxury to the mundane and for me that's the best kind of luxury so that is all i wanted to say about these rings you can sometimes find them on fashion file i did purchase my silver version on fashion file i have seen them on Poshmark I did purchase this directly from Tiffany but honestly I feel that the price points are completely worth it if what you want are pieces that are going to work and that you don't have to worry about 
um, putting on and taking off. Again, not because you're lazy, but because you appreciate efficiency in your luxury pieces. I really appreciate you watching and I will chat with you guys later. Bye.